new videos every day. Hey guys, my name is Cindy. Um, we're just gonna do some stretches in this video, stretching from the feet all the way up to the head to open up the body. So if you're really stiff and you're not looking to do a crazy asana practice, but you just wanna open up and explore, then that's what this is about. So um, we're actually going to start by stretching out the feet. So let's tuck the toes under and push back on the heels and lower the hips down to the heels. So this is uncomfortable for a lot of people. It's called fire toes and it actually raises a lot of pent up emotions. Some people get really angry when they're doing this, but it's really good for the feet. It really opens them up and stretches them out. But if this is too much, you can take a pillow and place it underneath your sitting bones, pressing back to create more space. If you'd like more in this stretch, you can lean back onto the hands, opening up the chest tucking the chin in, rolling the shoulders down the back, and sinking in. This is really gonna open up the feet. Rock back and forth on the toes, and then come back up. We're gonna kick that out. And then this one is a little tricky. We're gonna splay the heels out, drop the tailbone in between the feet, and then lean back onto your feet. This is gonna open up the front of the feet all the way to the knees. Once again, taking the palms and leaning back. This time though, we're gonna contract the belly in so we get more of a pull and a lift on the front of our legs. We're just gonna rock in this a little bit. Not too much, we don't wanna hurt ourselves. Remember, we are just stretching. So honor your body and be aware. Usually, if you're feeling too much tension near the tendon joints and not in the muscle, it means you're not hitting the correct spot and it's not going to do anything for you. So let's maintain the stretch in the muscles. All right, so we can shake that out, pitter-patter the feet, and then we'll just come to a comfortable cross-legged seated position just for a moment and begin to rock side to side just to open the body up. Fluid movement, stretching all of the body at the same time, finding your tight spaces, working into them. Creating a dance, allowing the breath to guide you. Allowing it to feel good as you open up all those little spaces. All right. So now that we've stretched out the feet, let's move to the shins and the calves. So stretch the feet out in front of you and then pull the, uh, the flesh out from your sitting bones. Inhale the arms up and then lower over, dropping your hands to your feet. And if this means you bend your knees, we're gonna do that because we really wanna target into the calf muscle. So really flex the feet and pull the toes back as you dig the heels forward, pulling the belly, buddy, the belly button <laughs> and the belly into the thighs. And pull forward, drawing the shoulders back, maybe splaying the feet open to the side, pulling in. And extending the feet, pulling up, squeezing the, squeezing the thighs, pulling up on the kneecaps, pulling forward. Hold and release. And then once again, come into a cross-legged position. But this time, we're going to come into fire log. So take uh, the, the top ankle and place it on the bottom knee, bringing the legs parallel to one another. Now this, may be enough for you and it may be really tight here so a lot of times if, if if we are too tight this knee will come up or you can't get the hip and the sitting bone onto the floor and that's the best way to get the deepest stretch so if that's the case place a pillow between your knee and your foot or place the pillow where the hip is to even it out if this is enough, just stay and breathe here. This is really gonna open the hips, maybe wiggle in it. Inhale the arms up. We're gonna drop the palms to the floor and walk forward. <laughs> yeah, really getting into it now. So we're gonna fold the belly forward and draw the hips towards the earth. Maybe moving side to side, finding a motion that feels good that's really gonna open up your outer thigh muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Make it feel good, allow it to feel good. 
Loosen up all that tension. Just fold forward, release. And we're gonna stay here for a minute, feeling all of this open up. If your head is not touching the earth, that's okay. We do have options. We can take a pillow and a folded towel, or if you have a block, use that and place it beneath the forehead and stay here. Breathing into all of that tension and allowing it to release. Rocking side to side, a few more breaths. Really stretching out the outer hips, the outer thighs, the glutes. And come up and we're gonna switch the crossing of the legs, placing the top ankle on top of the bottom knee. Once again, if, you're, um, if this knee does not reach the ankle, place the blanket, the block or the pillow between. This way our, our hips and our sitting bones are even. Or you can place the pillow underneath the hip to keep you even. And once again, inhale, elongate. Become comfortable in your position. <laughs> and then drop the hands and fold forward. And notice the difference in sides. One side is usually tighter than the other. Whew. But we want to breathe through this. Breathe into this. Open up. Once again, dropping the head as far down as you can. If this is as far as you go, that is okay. Accept yourself. We want to cultivate compassion when stretching so we don't hurt ourselves. Just accept where you're at. Breathe into those tight spaces. And release and roll up. Maybe moving side to side, opening up just a little bit more. And removing all your blocks and all your blankets. Now we're gonna transition into butterfly, which is gonna open up the, the, the groin area and the inner thighs as well as the hips. So take the soles of the feet out in front of you and place them together. And we're gonna gently walk ourselves forward, pulling the pelvis closer and closer to the ankles, but we don't have to be all the way here. Please don't strive to create what a posture is supposed to look like. Honor and trust your own body. So if this is too much for you, take your, pillow, take your pillows or your blocks and place them on the outsides of your knees to give yourself some support. And we're going to hinge forward from the hip crease. Um, a lot of people try to bring their forehead to the toes. However, what we actually wanna do is draw the belly button towards the heels. And this is what's gonna get that deep stretch on the, on the, on the groin and the, and the inner thighs. So inhale to elongate, rolling the shoulders down the back, tucking the chin. Then as we exhale, pull the belly button towards the feet, drawing down, using the elbows to open up the legs. It helps if you take your hands and try to open up your feet like a book. It helps to get that external rotation. And if you'd like to come all the way down, you can. Or just stay here and honor your body and allow it to feel good. Maybe moving side to side, finding a gentle twist. Rocking and moving in the asana, the posture, the pose, butterfly to feel it deeper. Good. And then remove your blocks and your pillows and we're gonna extend the legs out to the side, opening up. Now we wanna rock forward onto our, onto our inner pelvis region, region. So if you're feeling a lot of tightness and tension in the back, take a pillow or a blanket or a towel and roll it up and place it beneath your sitting bones. And this way we have the natural curve in the lumbar spine creating more steadiness and ease, um, stithrum and sukum. Inhale the arms up. And then exhale, we're going to drop the palms forward, really rotating out, rotating those hips in. And walk the hands forward, dropping the belly to the earth. If you're here, stay here and work into it. Walking the hands out a little bit at a time, maybe flexing the feet to get a little bit deeper. Once again, being cautious of the space underneath the knees if this is really straining and pulling on this tendon right here, we want to put a pillow or a block beneath it. Protect yourself. Be safe. Inhale. And then exhale to fold forward. 
maybe curling the spine, pulling the low back in, finding a nice stretch up the back, releasing the low back, and melting in. And hanging out here for a second. Mm. Just melt into it and allow it to do its work. Allow the muscles to open up, create a space for the muscles to open. And you'll notice that the more you wait, the more you're patient and the more you just allow things to just be, the more they open at their own pace and it feels so good. They just, things just start to happen. Things start to move. That's pretty awesome. And maybe drop just a little bit more forward. <sighs> Breathing. And then walk the hands back up and notice the difference. Notice any changes that have happened. Rock side to side. We're going to extend the right arm out, grabbing the toes, the ankle, or the shin. Rotate the body up, rolling the shoulder down the back. Extend the left arm up and then drop it over, over the ear, really reaching, extending up out of the side body. Mm -hmm. Then if you'd like, you can drop the palm to the toe, but we wanna make sure that we're twisting open. Good. <laughs> drop in, melt in. Once again, not forcing anything, not fighting, just allowing everything to naturally open up. Yeah, that's the key to stretching. Good, one more breath here. Exhale and come up. And we're gonna switch to the other side, shaking it out, extending the left arm out, grabbing the toe, the ankle, or the shin. Extend the right arm up, rotating that shoulder back, opening the chest towards the sky, lifting up through the rib cage, lifting up through the side body, and lower that arm over your ear and reach down. Good. Now, if you're here and you're comfortable, you can grab that big toe, take the arm and place it onto the earth with the palm facing up and rotate the side body open. <sighs> Of course, we want to breathe here because breathing allows the muscles to open. So if we breathe into them, the more open they will become. Also, there's this saying, um, it goes, the way that we breathe is the way that we feel. So if we breathe freely and fully and open, we will feel free and full and open. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> So come back up out of it. So let's keep that in mind as we stretch, that our breath is going to guide us into a deeper opening, more awareness, more space. All right, come back up and then drag the feet back together. Shake out the hips. And this is where it starts to get interesting. <laughs> We're gonna bend the right knee and take the right foot to the outside of the left thigh and lower that right knee down. And we're gonna swivel the left, the left heel just to the outside of the right side. Once again, we can keep our blanket beneath our sitting bones, <laughs> propping yourself up, allowing that natural tilt to occur so we're not forcing anything. All right, so we wanna make sure that our sitting bones are even and sinking between the heels. Maybe shake it out, work into this. All right, so just for a moment, we're gonna, we're gonna fall over these legs, finding stillness and feeling the openness that's going to occur in the outer thighs and in the glutes. So once again, taking our pillows, taking the palms to the floor, inhaling to open the chest, and then exhaling to find our space and lower into it. If you're here, that's okay. If you're here, this is okay too. And if you don't need any props, awesome. Just drop the head and melt into it, finding an openness. You can experiment with transitioning your body. So if you feel like you'd like a little more, maybe try lowering to the left or the right of the legs <laughs> to find a little more. <laughs> 
and then just stay here for a second. Ooh, there, there it is. That feels good for me. Another thing about stretching is that, you know, like each, each body is different and unique. So our, the way that we stretch is going to be different and, and unique. So it's important to just really find what works for you and your body. I can give you a general guideline of what to do, but it's up to you to find what works for your particular state of being and for your particular body. Give yourself what you need. Come back up. And then we're just gonna switch legs. Transitioning to the other side. And pulling the blanket, the block, or in this case, the towel, <laughs> underneath the sitting bones. And rocking side to side, really working into those hips. Inhaling the arms up. Finding a moment of tranquility. Pulling the hands through heart center and then taking the palms to either side of the legs and walking ourselves forward using our props as needed. Mm. Rocking side to side, working into this, working into this openness. Dropping the head, taking a moment to observe and see where we're at. Hip stretches can raise a lot of emotional baggage. Things come up when we're working in our hips. Especially in women, we store a lot of our emotions here. But it's really how we handle these things that's important. So notice how you're handling all of these emotions, any feelings that are, that are coming up. Do you hold tension? If you do, release that. Let that go. Do you just take it and roll with it? Awesome. Whatever it is you do, just notice, observe. Maybe experimenting, dropping from one side to the other. Finding what works for your body. Hang out here for a second, once again observing. Really breathing into those spaces, remembering that the breath creates openness, the breath creates space. And we're gonna come back up, being very careful, very gentle with our bodies. All right, we're gonna come into full Gomukhasana cow face pose. So we're gonna extend the arms out to the side and we're going to take the right palm, the, the right hand, the right arm <laughs> and extend it out in front of us and take the left arm, placing the left elbow over the right, bend the elbows so the back of the palms touch. And then we're going to swivel the right arm into the left, placing the right fingertips into the left palm. <laughs> Is anybody confused? <laughs> Raise the arms up and then exhale, pull down and we're gonna Push our heart center through that space, through that little triangle between our arms. Inhaling to extend up and opening. Feeling the breath wash up and down our spine, feeling the breath open up our muscles. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the space between the eyes. Taking a few breaths here to feel this openness happen, to witness it. And release. And we're gonna switch the crossing of the legs one more time and do this on the other side. So this time the left arm goes on bottom, right arm on top, bend at the elbows and interlace the fingers. being mindful to push the heart space up through that triangle so we get the full extension, the full opening in the shoulder blades. Breathing. Opening. <laughs> and release and shake it out. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna do a couple of arm stretches. It's actually just windmill side to side like this. Getting that blood circulating, opening up the side body. All right, undo the legs and come into a comfortable 
cross-legged position once again using your blanket or your towel to lift the sitting bones inhale the right arm up and exhale and lean to the left side opening up the side body opening up the chest towards the sky rolling that shoulder ba uh, back and then lifting up out of the left shoulder blade making sure we're not dumping in to the shoulder but lengthening up out of it exhale lower <laughs> and switch to the other side lengthening up the left arm the left side body opening expanding reaching out breathing fully and come up <laughs> good shake it out now we're going to do some neck rolls we're just going to drop the head to one side inhale and exhale as we drop the chin to the chest inhaling and dropping the head to the other side mm -hmm. dropping to the front and the back the front and then maybe going backwards if it's safe for you if you don't feel any crunching in the neck be really mindful here if you do feel crunching in the neck we'll just stick to front neck rolls And one more time. And come to center, inhale. Roll the shoulders down the back. Exhale, inhale, reach the arms up. Reaching up through the fingertips, pulling up out of the side body, maybe lengthening the arms up behind the ears, finding a nice stretch up the back and leaning to the right side. Inhaling up, leaning to the left and releasing now we're going to get that spine nice and loose we're going to inhale the arms up exhale drop the right palm to the right the left palm to the right knee as we twist to the right dropping the left palm behind the back and twisting inhaling up exhaling to twist deeper inhaling elongating the spine exhaling to twist deeper and come back up and drop the right hand to the left knee, twisting to the left side, inhaling to come up. Exhaling to twist deeper. Maybe looking over that back shoulder. Inhaling, elongate the spine. Exhale, come back to front and shake it all out. So there you go, stretching from the feet all the way to the head. Hopefully you feel more open and more spacious within your body. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video so you can stretch it on out whenever you want. Have an awesome day.